Answering calls when you're not at your desk. I may not be sitting at my desk, however, I still need to be able to receive my interactions. So I'll show you how to do this by using a remote number, using your configuration settings, how to follow me, changing your status to available forward. Each one of the three is going to allow me to receive those interactions no matter where I'm located. When logging onto the interaction desktop, you may see a screen that looks similar to mine. Unless you have your Use Windows Authentication window checked, it'll automatically log you in. In this case, if I want, or if I see this for the first time, I can see my station type is defaulted to workstation. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to my remote number. By doing so, this allows me to put in another number that I can be contacted with. This is where all my calls for my extension will be sent to. So in this case, instead of being working in the Indianapolis office today, I'm gonna to go ahead and work over in our California office where it's a little sunnier. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the phone number to be contacted at. And as soon as I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click log on. I can have calls sent to me by going up top to options to configuration to have calls follow me. Under the left hand side on calls follow me, I can list multiple phone numbers to be able to to be called to be able to reach me if I'm not at my office. With this, I put in, looks like I have a home number, a second home number, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in my cell phone number. How do I do this? Just click new, and I go ahead down at the bottom of my screen. I just type in the number that I wanna be contacted at. And then if needed, I could put in an extension. The timeout seconds you can leave as the default or change the 30 seconds as you can see as I did. If I want to put a PIN number in, I could. I could click the PIN number, and it makes me, uh, makes me put in a PIN number before answering the call. I can also check the box at the top to have an all-call screen. The person calling me would have to state their name, and then I could determine whether I do or do not want to pick it up. When I'm done, all I do is click OK. Then I want to make sure that I'm able to reflect those changes that I made by changing my status from available forward to available follow me. What that does is it continues to call, whether it's the first home number, then it goes to the second home number. If I don't pick that up, hopefully the third time will be the charm and where I can be reached on my cell phone number. So it would go to that follow me to that third phone number that I could be reached at. The third way that I could be able to answer a call when not at my desk is by changing my status. Instead of being the available status, I can choose the status available forward. So all calls will be forwarded to a particular number. When I do that, I wanna make sure that I, I change my status notes and my forward number because it will re resort to the last status note and forwarded number that we have listed here. You can see I was last in conference room B with the particular number. This time I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, home, my home number or my cell phone number. I could go ahead and put that number in and automatically the calls would be forwarded to the number that we see here. This has been another short video on answering calls when you're not at your desk.